Hi everybody, I'm Flower, and I'm here today to show you how to mix essential oils for different various aromatherapy projects. I'm the owner and creator of Life by Ritual, a bath and beauty care product line that focuses specifically on essential oils and aromatherapy. And I've also been creating essential oil blends for Big Dipper Waxworks. We make 100% beeswax candles that are mixed only with pure essential oils. Also, we have a great video on making your own 100% beeswax candles mixed with pure essential oils. Check it out on the Brambleberry channel. Why am I so passionate about essential oils? Essential oils are pure, potent plant magic. They are created by either steam distillation or cold pressing plant material. And what comes out is a very, very precious oil called essential oils. I love using essential oils in a wide variety of ways. You can use them in a body oil, you can use them in soap, you can use them in candles, you can use them in face serums, you can use them in salt scrubs, you can use them in so many different ways and you can use them just as like a simple perfume roller on the go. You can use essential oils as a single note. So if you love lavender, just use lavender. But I think that they really shine when you start to mix them together. You can create some really amazing synergies if you have a few different essential oils to blend together. But there's a few considerations to make. It really depends on what type of product you want to make. So there's a few things that I take into consideration when blending essential oils. First of all, safety is a big one. Cost is definitely something to consider. And then the energy of a blend, maybe how you want it to affect you. And then also just coming up with like a really harmonious blend. So first of all, let's talk about safety. You will never want to apply essential oils directly to your skin. Always dilute. It's just the biggest rule of thumb. Um, you can use a carrier oil. You can add it to soap. You can add it to salt. There's various different ways to dilute. Just never apply directly. They call it neat. And so never put an essential oil neat on your skin. Um, there's definitely some sensitivities that you have to be concerned about. Essential oils of citrus primarily um, can create phototoxicity. So what happens is if you put these in particular in a lesser dilution than 1% of your overall blend, it might actually create some type of reaction in the sun. So I would definitely go out and do a little bit of research on this, but always do a little patch test on anything that you're using on your skin. So if you're at all concerned about the concentration of any of these oils, there's a great calculator on the Brambleberry website that you can consult for different concentrations of essential oils to different products. So I would definitely check that out. So the next thing that we're gonna consider is cost. Some essential oils are a little cost prohibitive for some projects. With personal fragrance, you can get away with buying a little bit of maybe, um, what is this, Roman chamomile or sandalwood mm, or neroli. These are all lovely, lovely things to put into personal fragrance, but it might not be cost effective to put it into like a candle or even a soap. And then the final two considerations that I make is creating something that smells really harmonious. So you don't want one essential oil to stick out more than the others. And sometimes creating a blend that just um, has a certain like, field of energy. So if you decide that at the end of the day you want to come home and you want to feel really calm, you might choose certain oils for that rather than other oils. Okay, so we have a few different things here and we'll just touch base on that energetic thing that I mentioned. So like lemon is super good for focus. If you have something that you're maybe studying or maybe some children and you need them to focus, this is a great thing to diffuse or even add into some type of product. I love lavender. I think most people really love lavender. This is very, very, very calming. And so this is an excellent oil to use at the end of the day or maybe going to sleep. It's lovely in some type of carrier oil right before you go to bed and just put a little on your temples um, and maybe on your hands and rub your feet. 
And then I love patchouli oil. I know this is the great divider of people, but it is such a lovely like grounding scent. So if you really tend to be somebody who has a hard time focusing and is kind of all over the place, you might consider a little bit of patchouli in your life to help bring you back down to the surface. In the world of perfumery, we often talk about um, scents as a top, middle, and bottom or base note. And so the top notes are a little bit lighter. They need something to anchor them down into the blend. They're often kind of a little bit of like the interest, um, but they'll just kind of float away if they don't have something to anchor them into the blend. The medium note or the middle note is something that kind of um, makes up the body of a blend. And then the base note kind of wraps it all together. And so that oftentimes will be what's anchoring this top note into the blend. So common top notes are lavender, lemon, a lot of your citruses, tangerine, and eucalyptus. A lot of the middle notes, clove leaf, clary sage, this is Egyptian geranium, so good. And then something like neroli, this little guy. And then base notes would be like a cedar wood. A lot of the wood scents are base notes and patchouli. So having these categorized can be a little complicated because just because this is a top note doesn't actually dictate its concentration. So like eucalyptus is something that I use in really, really small concentration in most of my blends, but lavender is something that I use in pretty heavy concentration. Likewise, you would think you'd wanna use a lot of patchouli or cedar wood, but with patchouli, I use really just a little, little bit, and that will weight a blend down. So just keep in mind that top, middle, and bottom notes don't actually dictate concentration. It just really dictates how pleasing the blend will be. So taking that knowledge, I'm gonna show you what I do to start blending essential oils. So just a few like basic things that I like to do personally when getting to know an essential oil. Um, I'll take little pieces of paper towel. You can use toothpicks. And what I'll do is I'll take a little drop onto a paper towel. And this just gives me a really realistic um, way of smelling this rather than smelling it directly out of the bottle, which again, I said really pure and potent. It can be a little too potent when you sniff it direct. So I would definitely get this little tool and then that way you can pull out your essential oils. You can put them all onto your paper towels. You can get to know them individually, but then you can also take two paper towels and sniff them at once and decide whether you like those two scents together before you even start blending. And then some other tools that I like to have around is either just, and it's nice to have something that's clear, um, but a little clear measuring cup, or I have these little plastic ones as well. You can get a glass pipette or plastic pipettes. Um, and then this is just some alcohol. You could probably use vodka. Um, you could also use some type of oil, so um, a jojoba oil or even olive oil from your kitchen. And that is used to just clean out the pipettes in between each of the oils. So you'll take some oil into your dropper, you'll put it into your cup, you'll put the oil back into here, and then you'll want to clean this out so that you don't cross pollute your essential oils. Okay, so I don't know about you, but my life is hectic. And so I'm looking for something that might help kind of bring me back down to base, um, really help calm me in the evening. And I pulled out lavender, of course, but I also really love cedar wood. And I've taken a little bit on these paper towels and I've brought them together. And when I smell them, that's pretty pleasing to me. So I'm gonna start with that and see where I get. Um, I think I'm gonna do equal parts to start. It's always good to maybe start with equal parts and then decide from there. Um, but again, as I mentioned earlier, there are certain essential oils that just you need just a touch. So I'm gonna take my pipette and I'm gonna open my essential oils and I'm just gonna start with one drop. And I'm gonna put one drop. And then you can clean this out. take our cedar and you're just going to take one drop put 
that in there. Clean that out. And then again, the paper towel test. I'm just gonna take this and just stick it down in there. Mmm, smells pretty good. I'm feeling like it needs a little something. Maybe a little citrus. So let's add a drop of citrus. I'm thinking grapefruit. I really love grapefruit because it's vibrant, but it still has like a nice earthy quality. So we're gonna add one drop of grapefruit to this as well. Mm, now it's getting there. But of course, I think I want something else. This is where it's probably a good idea for me to start taking notes. So I'm gonna just grab a little notebook and a pen and write down that I've taken one lavender, one cedar, and one grapefruit. So I'm really loving this blend already, but of course I wanna add something else. Um, so I think I'm gonna add patchouli. We've got this great patchouli and I'm gonna add just one. Clean out your pipette. And then let's smell. Whoa, the patchouli totally overtook it. So what I'm gonna do now, I think, is add more of the lavender, grapefruit, and cedar. So I'm going to start adding those just drop by drop. Well, I've got five parts lavender, five parts grapefruit, three parts cedar, and one part patchouli. Ultimately, for one roller ball, I'm going to want about 50 to 60 drops of oil. This equates to about two and a half to three milliliters of oil. And so what I did was I added five drops of lavender to five drops of grapefruit, three cedar, and one patchouli for a total of 14. Because I know that I don't want more than 60 drops of oil, I divided 60 by 14 and I came up with a value of four. And so what I did was I took five times four and now I know that I need 20 drops of lavender, 20 drops of grapefruit, 12, 12 drops of cedar wood, and four drops of patchouli for my overall blend. That will be 56 drops total of essential oil blend that I'm gonna put into my roller. So we're gonna go ahead and add our essential oils into our cup. Okay, now that I have my essential oils all measured out, I'm just gonna add them into my roller ball. So these containers are 10 milliliter containers. We have about two and a half to three milliliters of oil. And so normally I can gauge that by just looking. It's about a quarter of this container. And we're going to add a carrier oil to this. Okay, so we're going to use this really great hydrating oil from Brambleberry that contains some grapeseed, some rosehip, and some jojoba oil. Um, I would definitely recommend something like this, but you can also use just like an olive oil out of your kitchen for this project as well. So I'm gonna take seven milliliters of this, or if you feel confident just direct pouring, you can do that. Um, you're gonna wanna fill just up to this line because if you overfill your little roller ball might not work very well. And so we'll just measure this out and really carefully. Pour it in, and now you have your little test perfume. Looks like I need a touch more. Trying not to make a mess. There we go. Okay, and then we have this little portion that goes right into the top. Sometimes these can be a little tricky to get in. I definitely recommend holding down on the container quite well. And then you can just pop it in with your palm. 
And now you have perfume. Ooh, it smells so good. I'm really excited about this sandalwood oil. So we're gonna try a blend with this, but you see how little this is? It's because it's a little bit more on that not very cost effective side. So this is the last oil that we're actually going to add into our blend and we're going to use it in a very small amount. Sandalwood goes a long ways. It's just like neroli and rose as well. So we'll use that. And what I'm thinking is that I want something that's um, maybe a little floral, but has just that really nice kind of exotic nature of sandalwood. So anytime I say the word floral, I'm gonna put lavender in it. So I'm gonna do some lavender, and I think I'm also going to do a little bit of geranium as well. And I'm thinking I'm gonna need something to really brighten and maybe sweeten it just a touch. So ylang ylang is great for that. So we're gonna start with these three oils, lavender, geranium, and ylang ylang. And usually, again, I use lavender in the highest concentration. Geranium and um, the ylang ylang I'll use in much lesser concentrations. So I'm thinking about already starting out as like a four, three, one value and seeing where I get with that. So let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna start with four parts of lavender. And again, we're just using drops to start. And this is just a good way to not be very wasteful of your essential oils because they are so precious. Three parts. And one part. I'm going to use a little bit of paper towel for this. That's pretty nice. I'm really enjoying the way that the lavender and the geranium are blending together. It maybe seems a little too sweet with the ylang ylang, so I'm going to actually add another four parts of this and three parts of this. Ooh, that's really good. So take notes. So, so far I have eight parts lavender, six parts geranium, and one part ylang ylang. What I'm thinking now is that I'm gonna put a little bit of paper towel into the sandalwood and smell it all together. So we'll do our little paper towel test. I'm just gonna take this half into there. And I'm going to take this and just barely get some on there. And then you can kind of do this silly little thing where you smell it all together. And I'm feeling like that might be a pretty good blend. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add even more of this blend together in here because as I said, the sandalwood is such a precious resource that I'm going to want to put as little of that into the blend as possible. And you know, the geranium is a little strong for me, so I'm actually going to add more of the lavender and then another touch of ylang ylang and not add any more geranium. So I'm adding eight more lavender and two more ylang ylang. I have 16 parts of lavender, six parts of geranium, and three ylang ylang, and I'm pretty pleased with the overall development. That puts me at about 25 drops of essential oil. So I'm gonna move forward, a little bit of risky business here. We're gonna move forward, and I'm going to bring this up to 50 drops. I'm gonna add 16 more lavender, six more geranium, and three more ylang ylang. 
I'm gonna make the bulk of the blend and then I'm gonna start adding sandalwood drop by drop. So you could stop there, <laughs> or we're gonna add a drop of sandalwood to this and see where it goes. So let's try it. Precious little sandalwood, this is two milliliters. We'll just put one little drop in there. It's really barely detectable, so I'm gonna add another two drops. Hmm, that's really nice. So by adding this um, sandalwood just in drop by drop, you can get to that point where it's there just barely detectable. And I'm feeling like this has just a really nice, um, I'll call it a synergy. And so everything's really blending together. Um, I'm not getting any one thing like right up front. It just really smells like a really nice scent. I think I'm gonna roll with it. So again, we're gonna take our two and a half to three milliliters of essential oil and we're gonna add it into a roller ball. Again, usually it makes about a fourth of the jar. And then I'm gonna take this amazing hydrating oil from Brambleberry and I'm gonna add about seven milliliters you can always top it off. Being careful not to overfill. There we go. And got the little roller ball. Hold this firmly as you press it down in there. And then we have a really amazing perfume. I like to say that you can create your own legacy by creating your very own perfume. Your friends, your family, your kids might remember this smell for years to come, so make sure you take notes. Mmm. Mmm, I think it smells wonderful. This is a great way to get to know each of the essential oils individually and the way that they blend together and make your very own custom perfume blend. That being said, you can also scale up this recipe um, and make multiple roller balls for you, your friends, your family. Um, and you can also start to scale up for soap recipes or salt scrubs or any other thing that you'd like to add essential oils to. Well, I hope that this helps you in your essential oil blending journey and you have fun. It really is just a personal preference. So use your imagination and your intuition. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Mm -hmm.